With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student. So the question given is, we have to prove a theorem. Theorem number 10.8 and the theorem is given the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle so first let me draw the figure and make you understand what the theorem is saying we are given a circle and an arc let's say this is an arc pq and this is the angle p o q okay so this is the angle it will make on the center and this is the rest part so let's say here is a point as A. This is the point A. This is point O. So what we have to prove is we have to prove is angle POQ is equals to twice of angle PAQ. This is what we have to prove. So let me write first given a circle with center O with center at O arc PQ right sub 10 angle POQ at O and PAQ at A point. We have to prove I have written construction I'll join AO and make a triangle also I'm extending to point B let's say here is any point B okay this is the construction after this we will come to the proof part okay so why I have constructed this because I needed I am I'm thinking of having two triangles here and from them I'll see what I can further uh, conclude so I have two triangles I'm taking triangle APO and this side I'm taking another triangle which is AQO so I know OP equals to OA right and in this OQ equals to OA right OQ equals to OA OP equals to OA because these are radius right so angles angle this and angle this this line the angle from this and this is equal and this angle and this angle should be equal so now the same thing I'm writing here OPA angle OPA equals to angle OAP here angle OQA equals to angle OAQ so from here now what we want is we want the relation between these two angles right so this angle because this is a line we have extended right this is the same line we have extended okay so this line is an exterior angle of uh, this triangle right and this angle is the exterior angle of this triangle so from the exterior exterior angle property from exterior angle property it is for the both triangles what i'll write angle b o p equals to angle o p a because the external uh, angle is equal to the sum of two internal 
triangles right and not this these two so here angle b o q equals to angle o q a plus angle o a q okay and you know that o q a and o a q is equal and here also p a o a p and o p a is equal so angle b o p equals to two angle o a p and angle b o q equals to angle two multiply angle uh, any one of them i am taking o a q so this is my first equation this is i am letting it as second just a second yeah uh, this these two are equal these two are equal so i have taken one of them okay so i am letting it as equation 1 and 2 here now this is the last part here now what you are seeing if you will add these two and if you will add these two you will get this whole angle and this whole angle and hence the relation between these two angles okay so um i am adding these two adding 1 and 2 what i'll get angle bop plus angle what another was boq and so this side i'll get 2 i'm taking 2 common directly because i know it is oap plus oaq so what this angle is angle what this angle is the whole p angle p o q equals to 2 multiply this is the whole angle o o a q and o a p is p a q angle p a q and hence it's proof this is what we wanted to be proved so here you can write hence proved thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today